Welcome back to Google Guru. This video is brought to you by Sonata. Thanks for joining our tutorial today, where we'll take a look at some of the most useful advanced Gmail search operators. The real power of Gmail search lies in search operators, which are words that help modify your search queries. For those of us that get a lot of email, search can help you quickly find what you need. You're probably aware of some of the most basic operators that allow you to search for emails you know, that are from or to certain contacts, but most people don't know about many of the advanced search operators in Gmail. So we're going to show you some really useful tricks to help you find the emails you need. Gmail allows Boolean search operators in its search queries. If you're not familiar with Boolean operators, that's okay, because we're going to be explaining them along the way. Let's start with the OR Boolean operator. OR allows you to connect two commands, so either command can be true in your results. We're also going to use some parentheses, which as you probably already know, are used to separate and group commands. To demonstrate, we're going to use a cool Gmail operator that allows you to search for emails by their state, whether it be starred, unread, important, you get the idea. In this case, I want to find starred emails that contain either the word video or website. So I'm going to search is starred to specify the state of the email, and then in parentheses, I'm going to group video or website, which will give me a list of all of the emails that include either the word video or website. And there we go. And just a word of advice, the more commands you connect by or, the more emails you'll get in your results because or broadens your search. The inverse Boolean modifier to or is and. If or broadens your search, and restricts it. The more words you enter connected by and, the fewer emails you'll get in your results. And actually, by default, Gmail does an AND search when you type two commands side by side, so you don't actually need to type out the word AND when you search. Let's take another look at the very versatile IS operator. Here's an important use case. Let's say your inbox is overflowing with unread emails, as most people's inboxes usually are. Short on time, you just want to see all the unread emails in your priority inbox. So you're just going to do a search for IS important and then a single space to separate the other command. No need to type the word AND. You're going to type IS unread. And all of your important unread messages are right there for you. And then lastly, we're going to do a search using quotation marks, which are used to search for an exact phrase. To demonstrate a search with quotes, let's do one that integrates Google+, Google Social Network. Because all of your Google apps are connected, there are some great ways to utilize your Google Plus circles when searching in Gmail. For example, I want to search for an email within my company circle because I want to exclude any customer or prospect emails in my results. Let's try it. So I'm going to search within my company circle, the company being Sonata, and then I want to search for all the emails that contain the phrase access to our beta. And as you can see, I found the emails I was looking for within my company circle. And you can do this with any Google Plus circle. So there you have it. I think you'll be able to find your emails much easier using these operators, so give them a try. A list of the Gmail and Boolean operators we went over is below. Thank you for joining us.